I Aden Baredwale. Environment Cabinet Secretary nominee Aden Dwale was among those appearing before the Parliamentary Appointment Committee for vetting which entered its second day today. Dwale was put to task to demonstrate his ability to fulfill his duties in the position as he is among those who have returned to the cabinet after being previously dismissed. I am not uh, John Michuki, but uh, I will be like John Michuki. If approved by this parliamentary committee, Dwale will take over the ministry at a time when there is an increase in allegations of people grabbing forest land for personal use. He has vowed to prioritize this issue in the first 30 days of his tenure, particularly focusing on the Ololua forest in Kajiado County, which was originally 66 acres before being encroached upon. I will revoke those and uh, I am ready to bear their consequences. Some of those who have encroached upon the Ololua forest are believed to be high-ranking government officials, including members of parliament. Duale has warned that he will not recognize rank or position when revoking illegal forests. Duale has warned that he will not recognize rank or position when revoking illegal forest land titles. Forestry will be my business. Grabbers of uh, forest land will be my business. Whoever they are, Whatever their status is in society. One of the main goals of the government is to plant more than 15 billion trees by 2032. A target Duale insists is achievable, citing similar efforts in other countries. 10 to 15 percent of the trees we are going to plant must be fruit trees. That communities see the value. That as you plant trees, well, they also plant mango, they plant many, many other fruit trees that will entice our communities. Other reforms Duale has promised to implement in the ministry if given the opportunity include tree planting in cities and homes. He emphasized that those wishing to cut down trees will be required to prove they have planted others before being granted a permit. Before his appointment to the Ministry of Environment, Duale served as the defense minister and ghosts from his previous docket came haunting. He was required to explain what led to his dismissal and the issue of corruption during military recruitment. When women are discriminated against, when they do a test, pregnancy test, they do not have a, anything. But once they go there, I don't know where it comes from, the, they have a pregnancy. One of my constituents was told that his testicles are not equal. That is why he's being dismissed or returned from the training camp. So I wanted to seek clarification from the CS to tell me what are the guidelines. They will tell you something about even the teeth. They will tell you many things. And some of these things is because when you go, the, the, the training of the Kenya Defense Forces is so vigorous that you don't risk to take somebody who will die in the course of the training. So don't compare it with how the police are trained. Don't compare it with how the Kenya prison are trained. Dwale also took the opportunity to defend his decision to deploy the military to handle protesters. He insisted that he did not deploy the Kenya Defense Forces during the anti-finance bill protests. Dwale said it was the doing of the framers of the Constitution of Kenya and his deployment was in line with the law. If KDF did not come to assist the other security agents, God forbid, many members of parliament could have died, including our speaker. Parliament could have been burnt. I will not be that irresponsible as a minister of defense with a provision of the constitution. Provision of the constitution. I use the law. And regarding his wealth. My network, Mr. Speaker, is uh, as of today, 980 million. <laughs> David Kagina, K24, Nairobi.